Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of real-world number pairs. This is standard 3.5e in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 30 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty simple problem. We have eight socks in each package sold at a shoe store. And then we just have table of packages and socks, packages and socks. So let's see what happens if we were to make our own table, just to see if we can find our own relationship to begin with. So I'm going to put um, packages and then I'm going to put socks just like this. And since these tables are... They're kind of moving side to side. And I'll go ahead and do that same thing. So packages. So if I've got one package, it says I've got eight socks in each. So I'm just going to put an eight right there. So if I have two packages, that's eight and eight. So that's going to give me 16. If I get three packages, let's see, that's another eight. That's going to get me 24. And I'm just going to keep going just for a little bit. 32. I'm going to keep skip counting by eights and I'll get up to 40. So what is the rule or what is the relationship here between the packages and the socks? Well this each is going to give us a big clue. Each usually always points us towards multiplication or division. So what we can do is we can think of a rule since this is kind of like an input output table and we could say the rule is multiply by 8. Now this is how we know that. We take our packages and we multiply it by 8 and that's going to get us our number of socks because it said there were 8 socks in each and that gives us our clue for multiplication in each package. So 2 packages times 8 is going to get us 16 socks. 3 packages times 8 is going to get us 24 and so on and so forth. So now what we're looking for is we need to discover the rule for each of these tables here and see which one of these looks like they have a times 8 or a multiply by 8 rule because that's going to give us our best shot at finding the answer. Now you notice that each of these have 5, 8, 10, or 11. So I guess if we really wanted to, we could extend our table. We do have up to 5, but we could go up to 8, 10, and 11. But take a look at all your 5s. They all start with correct 540 relationship. So that lets you know this is going to be a tricky one because it's not just the first one that's going to get us what we need. So let's start looking at the second one. They all start with uh, 5 packages, and then they go straight into 8 packages, so they skip. And you notice the number skip. That from 5 to 8 is 3, and then from 8 to 10 is 2, and then from 10 to 11 is 1. So when they're giving you this kind of strange pattern like this, that means they don't want you to look side by side. They want you to find the rule. They want you to look up and down here. So 8, let's see, times 8. Well, 8 times 8, that equals, this is where we need to know our multiplication facts. That makes 64. does not mean 48. So... Let's just go ahead and get rid of F there. So 8 times 8 is 64. That means we're good on G. And we are good on H, but we are not good on J. So let's get rid of this one. Actually, it looks like, look at J. It looks like we've got to multiply by 10 for at least these last three. The first one is multiply by 8, but the last three is multiply by 10. So now we're down to G and H which means all we need to do is let's see if we can look at this right here. We have 10, so we need 8 times 10, and we know that is 80. So it looks like it's going to be this one right here because that 88 is incorrect. Let's just double check with our 11. Let's just do 8 times 11, and that is going to make, there's your 88. So you have to check all four sometimes because they all started with the correct one but our answer is going to be H.